I, I had literally just asked who's leading us off. And oh. He walked in the door. I go, Dante. <laughs> I put my money on you, man. There we go. Every time. Well, everyone comes in. How's, the, how's dadhood? Loving it. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what, what are we doing now? Like, what's the uh, activity? We walking yet? Or? Yeah, he's running now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's running. He's getting into everything now. But it, it's good. He's got his little toys and he's stacking with pegs and so he's. He's moved. I know everybody says their kid's smart, but I think I got a genius yeah. on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to chase him down, tackle? Make him he's already tackling. So, <laughs> he's tackling? Yeah, he's just slowing down a little bit. always been the been the thing but uh even then I mean a quicker turnaround than that um you know you want to hit the the miss keys and stuff that you missed in the game um you know not so much as a as a gratitude or a validation win you know you want you don't necessarily want to go back and look at you know the great plays obviously the plays that you can you know do better and um, make an improvement and, and show a lot of growth and you know that's where you learn so um you know they're gonna watch film and they're gonna, you know, see the couple plays or whatever that they can work from from this past game. So that you know, those are the things that we want to pick up. Uh, they, since they're down, CP and obviously Calvin Ridley's not gonna play. Do you have any sense from them? This might be like a kitchen sink kind of game offensively. They have a staff that might throw anything at you at any moment. Um, you know, each week, you know, we kind of be we're we're prepared for you know everybody's you know best shot. Um, you know, everybody kind of knowing what kind of team uh, we are. We, you know, we play co uh, close attention to the film and stuff. So, um, you know, we we try to be as um, ready, I guess, as you can be. But, uh, you know, you never know. Um, you know, they, they still have, you know, a lot of good players. I mean, they're in the National Football League for a reason. So, I mean, um, they're missing, you know, some good players. But, you know, they have a, some guys on their roster, I'm sure, that, that are ready to step up. When you watch Matt Ryan, is he still the same guy that you've been preparing for for years? Um, yeah, I mean, the guy makes all the right checks. Um, throws, still throws a great ball. Um, doesn't really get talked about, but um, he's, mo he's you know, pretty mobile, mobile enough, you know, to get away from the rush and extend plays and stuff. So, um, you, know, I, you know, I still see him as, a, you know, one of the you know, top quarterbacks. Do they still do a lot of bootleg plays with him? Um, I mean, it's a, obviously a little different between Kyle Shanahan and you know what Arthur Smith and you know whatever they you know what they're doing, um, but uh, you know I think that they you know do a, a good bit of, enough of it to keep everybody honest. I mean, especially with the run game that they had with CP and, and Big Davis. So um, you know when guys come up and you stuffing guys in the box to stop the run, um, and like I said, you got Ryan with the mobility that he has, and then the you know Kyle Pitts he he has what. Like eight or ten, like one-handed snags on bootlegs and play action. So um, they got good, good skilled guys, and they do a good job of you know try, trying to put those guys in the situation to make plays. Dante, we seldom like see you fooled by play action. Uh, you, you always seem to kind of sniff those plays out. Uh, what, what are you looking at that allows you to be so quick to react to those types of plays? Um, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it depends on the, the call that we're in. Um, sometimes it's the alignment. Uh, sometimes it's just me just having a, I guess, just an instinctive beat on, you know, what they're doing. You know, sometimes if we're in this coverage, they'll you know, try to do this kind of play action because this hole is is open, you know, that kind of thing, kind of knowing, um, you know, where the offense want to attack, when it wants to attack us. So um, usually, you know, that's kind of my reason that, Knowing, knowing how much um, goes into like, playing for this team and then adding on to it what it would be like to be the quarterback of the offense, what is your view of your Alabama brother there, you know, and what he's, um, how he's sort of, I guess, come in and uh, established himself? Um, and I, I don't think that, uh, you know, Max done anything more or less than, you know, what anybody, anybody's kind of expected. Um, I think he's obviously kind of ran with it. Um, you know, he's a great guy. He works hard, um, so it's it's not a it's not an overnight thing. It's it's a process. 
um, and for a guy to come in and, you know, learn that and take the initiative to pick that up and kind of know that guys are, you know, depending on him to make the right checks and stuff. Uh, it's hard, you know, especially here too. But, um, you know, he was, you know, I'm sure in his upbringing and stuff, he was, was taught that. And then, you know, obviously in college he had a, a great school and a great, great coach to learn from as well from uh, there. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud for him. I and mean, I'm not saying I put any kind of expectations on Mac at all. Man, the, the guy works hard. You know, everybody loves him in the locker room. Um, just, just glad he's here. Dante, a lot of players recently in the midst of your four game winning streak have talked a lot about the confidence they have, the confidence they have in each other, the confidence they have in the coaching staff and the game and the game plan. Was that a process too, uh, in terms of developing to where you are at this point with having that kind of confidence? Uh, I think so. I think it's, it's again, um, you know, Coach hits on it all the time about it being a process. Um, you know, it's not just a process for the players, but, you know, he, he hits on it at the time, maybe not as much, but as coaches too, um, you know, guys having to build that chemistry on the field uh, with players and then also, uh, you know, coaches kind of being able to understand and feel um, the kind of vibe and energy that, you know, the players are giving off. And um, it's, you know, the season is a, it, it is a process. It's something that, um, you know, we try to build on each week, and I feel like, you know, so far we've done that, and, you know, each week you can tell. So um, that's the mindset and attitude that that we have in the locker room and that they have in the coaching staff. So um, when you put all that together and you go out and you're able to execute and make sideline adjustments and stuff like that, um, you usually have, you know, pretty good results. Talking to Devin and Adrian over the last couple of days, they both said that they kind of marvel at the way Kyle Duggar just stands up offensive lineman sometimes when he's playing down in the box. Uh, what have you seen from, from Duggar this season? It's King Doug, man. They call him King Doug for a reason. He's, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to, to put tabs on players like that. Um, it's just a freak athlete. Uh, he's a smart dude. Uh, I, I, just, I think it's, it's wild. You know, we talk about all the time about using a flipper and stuff in the linebacker room, and then you see Doug go out there. He's doing a kickoff return. He's 320, 30-pound, you know, lineman that uh, you go around, you look in the lead, there's a lot of linebackers that, that's not doing that. So uh, watch out. You know, a lot of a lot of guys come in and they, they're cracking. You won't see too many receivers probably trying to crack Doug. They're, they'll definitely probably put a tight end or a lineman on him. And I think that says a lot about how he plays, and I think that says a lot about how uh, – a lot of coaches view that and respect, you know, how hard he plays. In that same vein, um, I saw Bill told you guys that you were definitely the most physical team last Sunday. Just how important is that to your identity as a defense, and how much do you want that to be your identity? Um, I just think that's something that um, that's, that's something that we've harped on. That's something that, that we that we believe on believe in. Um, that's something that we practice. Uh, you know, whether it's an identity or you know people see that when they see us. Um, you know, that doesn't really matter. Again, I, I said it last week, you know, all that stuff is cool, um, but in between the lines, you know, if you don't go out and you actually do it, you don't go out and execute it, and you don't be dominant, um, you know, all that, all that stuff are just tales. So, um, you know, we practice it. You know, that's something that, um, you know, we're expecting every week. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, you know, the mindset that we have going, going into the game. I wanted to ask you about Matthew. Um, I was going to ask you before he came in the room, but uh, Adrian Phillips yesterday called him a different kind of cat. And I'm just curious in your interactions with Matthew, you share that same thought. What does is, what is, what is different kind of cat mean to you? <laughs> Man. You want me to? You got to tell him the Beyonce story. No, I ain't going to tell him that one. I ain't going to tell him the Beyonce story. I'll let somebody else tell that. I'm going to let, yeah. I, you won't tell it, I'll let you tell it. But uh, yeah, I know, right? It's uh, it's 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 great to have um, Judy. It is uh, it's been a huge pleasure to have him, man. I he's just different, man. I don't really know. There's not a a phrase or nothing, bro. I just the fact that you can just say Beyonce's story and it just got everybody kind of like, what's going on. I think that says enough. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Judy take that one. <laughs>